In the time frame that I've been here, I've met presidents, movie stars, uh, generals. Uh, General mine was General Schwarzkopf that I fit at one of the shows that we were at. I think that they come there because we are world renowned. So it's it's the fit, it's it's the comfort of the moccasin, meaning that your foot's basically cradled in a hammock. It's It gives you the more natural way the foot should be. We've made boots for the military. We made them for the U.S. Army back when they were building dirigibles, like the leather bottom moccasins that Joe's wearing. Um, like we talked about earlier, we, we've made boots for Hollywood stars. We've made them for presidents. We've made them for royalty. Um, there's been history made in Russell's between flights of Charles Lindbergh overseas to Russia and Japan. Uh, to Earl Schaefer being the first person to complete the Appalachian Trail in a single pair of Russells back in 1948. Uh, Russells have been all over the world in all sorts of circumstances. And the idea behind our catchphrase and our motto, you know, we make boots, you make history, is just simply that every boot that we make has the ability to make history. And whether that's personal history of, of something nobody else ever know, of that perfect afternoon in the woods or on that hike that, that only you were able to see, uh, or whether that's natural and actually history that's going to be taught in history books uh, of, of some amazing feat that's been done. It's all been done in Russell's. And so we do what we do. Uh, our artisans train for years and years and years to be able to have the skill set to make these boots to ensure that should you have the opportunity to make history uh, or even that personal history that our boots are up to the task and can get you there and back. And, and on that point is the other thing that makes us unique is our employees because they all are, be it a, a hand, hand sewer, is definitely an artist in his own right because his stitch, his seam is, is basically his signature. So in a way, each shoe is, has the artist's signature just by the way it's sewn. It isn't a mass produced item by any means that it's one looks the same as the other. Some may be different just because of who made it. And so that's the uniqueness of the machine operators. It's what makes us is the employees we have and their ability of what craftsmen they can do is, is really another item that makes us unique. At the end of the day, we're, we're limited on the number that we can produce simply because there's no way to do this construction method other than by hand. We cut almost every part on a boot by hand. Uh, it's sewn on a machine that's operated by one of our machine operators and then it's lasted by hand, sometimes multiple times, and then it's sewn by hand. And I think going forward from that, um, there's a lot of people who want something that's not inspired um, by the way that things used to do, but, but is the way that they've always been done. And there's a reason that Russell's have been able to keep up with the times, even though our method of craftsmanship hasn't changed much since then. And that's because good design is transcendent through time. Uh, it doesn't go out of style and Russells are being used for fashion wear because people recognize the timeless nature of this handcrafted product. And so whether you're using it to go out west and hunt elk up in the mountains or sheep or rams or in Africa, um, or taking on a hike up the Appalachian Trail like was done in 1948 by Earl Schaefer, um, our boots are designed to be in the toughest, most extreme environments. And that means that you can walk down the sidewalk with a lot of confidence. You know, Joe's been here a uh, better part of, of running Russell for the last 30 years or so. And as we're trying to, to find our place uh, in a new century, a new age, um, I think the biggest thing for us is staying true to our craftsmanship, staying true to our methods and those time-honored traditions of how we make our boots. Um, but the market and the demographics are going to change. And, and the way that we interact with them, um, the way that we provide footwear to them, the way that they want to be sold to, and our marketing strategies uh, are gonna change. And a lot of times it's actually going back to a lot of the stuff that Russell was doing back in the 1920s and 30s. So businesses follow cycles and, and we're finding uh, in our history a lot of opportunities to get boots in the hands of people who need excellent footwear for the outdoors. But all of them aren't necessarily hunters. We've got so many hikers and backpackers and conservationists and wildlife managers and people who spend time in the outdoors um, that need good footwear. And so we don't want to pigeonhole Russell's to just one group of people over another. I would say the, the primary thing at, at a core, even in uh, some of our shoes and loafers, the first thing that makes a Russell very different from even other moccasins is the Russell overlap stitch, which was 
developed in the early 20s. It ended up being patented in 1941. Uh, it was developed here at Russell, and so it's the only place uh, that that stitching method is used. And it's a very unique stitch that, when done appropriately, can create a watertight seal on that seam. And we have other methods to make a boot even more water resistant. Um, the other method that is exclusive to Russell uh, is what we call multi-layer moccasin construction, where there are multiple moccasin vamps going around your foot, so multiple layers surrounding your feet that create that water resistance, that create durability, uh, while maintaining lightweight and maintaining the flexibility and comfort that moccasin construction offers. A lot of sustainability efforts over the years have focused on, let's make something more recyclable, let's make something that's easier to feel good about disposing. Um, and then there's a lot of talk about quality, and, and we, we simply just have a different philosophy on the way that we create products, the way we approach it, and, and so it's what we call conservation through craftsmanship. And then the idea behind that is simply that the materials, if you use good materials, are gonna last a very, very long time as long as you take care of them. The craftsmanship, when you combine those materials into a design with craftsmanship, and it's designed to be maintained, then those materials can last their utmost. And that means that somebody can, can take one of our boots and wear it for decades, generations. Uh, I personally have a pair of boots that was my great grandfather's from Russell. They're still being used. And so we're 70 years old. And so there's not necessarily a time limit. And we've been taught that there should be a time limit that you should have to buy a new pair of shoes every so many years. Uh, but a lot of that is because there is not a maintainability in a lot of modern footwear. And what we offer our customers is the ability to maintain that footwear designed to be maintained, designed to be repaired, because when something does happen, and eventually it will the longer you wear a product, you have to set up that product day one when it's being made in order to ensure that it can be maintained and can be repaired. And so that's why we're able to, to have the lifespans of footwear that are really unheard of uh, anywhere in the world is because of what we do up front in the construction process.